Hello everybody, this is Budrich and in this video we try to set up um, GitHub uh, for yeah, preparing it for a site or yeah, you will see here it will be it might seem like we are uh, starting in the wrong end in a way here and also that I make this a little bit more complicated than, than it needs to be and in one way that is True, at least it, it's a little bit more complicated than it needs to be for uh, most people setting up a, a Hugo site. But since I'm, I'm doing this publicly uh, on, on the YouTube channel and it will be like a tutorial course thing in a way, uh, I kind of need to do it in, 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 a, in a little bit different way to, to make it... Uh, accessible for, for people who, who watch the videos in the future and stuff and, and that's also why I have decided to um, create a special site for just for these uh, YouTube videos so, so I will not do what I said in the last video creating the Budridge uh, blog here we, we do a, a separate website for, for yeah this YouTube series whatever that is uh, so I have created here uh, an empty organization on uh, GitHub. This is one of the steps that you absolutely don't have to do at all, you know. Uh, you don't need to create this organization, but yeah, let's, let's go here to Sublime and look at the quick start uh, um, site that we generated in the last uh, video. To, to take a quick look at, at the uh, directory structure here and, and what they are uh, because I, I have found that we kind of need four different repositories and you could even divide it up into five repositories uh, and yeah that, that, that might sound uh, weird and, and strange but I think at least four repositories that's that's not a bad idea even for your own uh, site but it's all up to you in one way you only need to upload this public directory you know so and, and that's what i did uh, prior to this my old websites i only had uh, this public directory with index.html and stuff you know this is the actual home page that's the only thing that needs to be public. The, the source code here, I, uh, I used to have that on, on uh, Dropbox. But uh, I don't use Dropbox anymore and I just don't want that workflow. I want the Git-based workflow uh, as much as possible here. So, we have this quick start directory which is the whole uh, site with both the source and the public directory here with the HTML source. So. It's an easy distinct we can easily distinguish two different repository here right now. One, the public directory here. We could keep that in its own uh, repository and uh, uh, the source in another one. I know there are uh, people who, who keep them in the same repo uh, but on different branches and, and that's fine also. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you do this, it will get a, a bit uh, complicated in a way. And, and, and that's, that's um, important to, to understand that web, web technologies and, and stuff, it, it, it's really difficult to make this simple and easy and, and minimal. Even with a simple static site, it, it, it gets... Um, uh, a bit hairy sometimes, so to speak. Then we have the themes directory here. Uh, and if you remember uh, from the quick start guide, maybe we should, no, we don't have to do that. But uh, we, we actually cloned this um, theme here with this submodule uh, command, git submodule. What that does is it clone a repo into another repo. And this is a technique we will use for, for, for everything here. So, so the theme or themes uh, can and probably should be separate repos. Because my, my thought here is to, we, we will build our own theme from scratch, I, I thought. Uh, 
but it's good to keep them separated from the project both because then it will be easy to switch different themes and maybe you want to upload your theme yourself to the Hugo theme repository however that works I don't really know um, so now we have three repos right we have the the whole source we have the public directory we have the themes directory here then we have a fourth uh, uh, directory, the content, you know, with the posts. And this is also a good ID to keep it separated and, and uh, in, in its own repository. If you want to keep it on Git, it, it's better to have it separated and add it as a submodule like this. And this is almost, this one is, is the most important one of them all to, to separate, in my opinion, because uh, maybe, you, you know, you might write uh, just to, trying to write an article and some days is not the day to write an article, but you do it anyways, you know, and, and you write something terrible. Maybe it's just stupid, maybe it's, uh, yeah, you know, maybe you don't want to share everything all the time everywhere, you know. And this is a nice feature with GitHub is that you can have private repos. So you could add like the content to your own personal uh, GitHub uh, repo and make that repository private. Of course, then it somewhat breaks if someone uh, wants to clone your whole page source and build it. But in one way, why would someone do that, you know, uh, without your uh, permission to, to use your articles and things like that? In that case, you can share them uh, in some way, whatever. I think this is a good uh, flow here, but you still share everything else of the source and, and the theme will be separated because that's that's probably what most people would be interested in cloning is the only the theme. I know it, it, it is, let's just, let's just do it, you know, uh, because I've said it many times, it's really difficult to know where to start. Now I don't know why it didn't focus my pale moon with the hotkey. It opened a new instance. That isn't supposed to be how it's like. Um, yeah, let's close this. Okay, in the Bud Labs repository. Create or organization here. I will create a new repo now. Um, and maybe we should write it down somewhere. We need one repo for the theme. Uh, um, we need one repo for um, content. We need one repo for um, public. And we need one, and, and these three will be uh, uh, imported as submodules into one main source repo so, so to speak so let's start with a theme repo here just creating it on, on github and here now that i'm using uh having this uh in this organization that i created here uh, organizations doesn't allow uh free private repos i need to to upgrade to a pro plan to, to use private repos in organizations but if you host this on your private uh free GitHub profile, then you can use private repositories here. Uh, let's just do this, and then now when I do this, I, uh, this is like take two uh, of this, uh, so I've done this process once at least. I, I have actually never tried this. I, I thought about it yesterday, and I think this is how we should do it, but initialize it with the readme, all, all the repos we create here. Otherwise, it got weird when I tried to, to um, uh, import the submodules when the repos were empty so so yeah create them with a readme it doesn't matter we delete it later or something okay we got the theme repo uh, we create one repository that's called content and this is the one that you should make private uh, 
initialize that also with a readme here then we create one that's called uh, the public repo here is a bit different uh, because the easiest way to create a, a GitHub web page is to just create a, a repository with the same name. If, if I would create a, a, a page for my own profile here, Budridge, then I would create a repo that's called budridge.github.io. But now when we host it here on, on this organization, I need to call it the same name as organization here. Uh, because this is kind of the free uh, domain that, that you get from GitHub. So this will immediately work and, and it will uh, know that this is a, 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 a GitHub page repo. You can create GitHub pages for repos with other names. So it's not super important, but um, it makes things a lot easier. And you can also name it either .com or .io. But it's important here, the same name exactly .github.io or com. And, and I guess this have to be public. Uh, yeah, sure, initialize this also with the readme because that can be interesting here to see. And let's create the last repo the main repo, so to speak, but we, let, let's call it source. Another benefit here or benefit, but you, you can of course do this otherwise also, but uh, you know, source code, um, sure. Uh, yeah, you can, you can say what you want, you know, some people get really uh, weird with HTML, it's not a programming language, and yes, in a way, it isn't, and it isn't, it's a mark, markup language. And Hugo is, is like a templating language thing, but it's still a uh, source, you know. The, the point I want to get to is that uh, you shouldn't use, um, you know, the normal uh, uh, open source licenses that we use for, for uh, software projects. For example, the GNU license or MIT BSD for content that is uh, like articles and, and, and things like that, like music, writings, a poem, a book and things like that. They, they have um, better uh, licenses that works similar to open source software licenses, but there are equivalence for, for more, I don't know what to call it, like uh, cultural works like that. And it also makes it easy when you have it separated, no confusion what uh, license it is on, on whatever. It isn't that super important either with this, our own personal blogs, but whatever. Okay, the source, initialize, read me, cool. And now I didn't add any licenses here, but maybe we do that later, but whatever. Right, now we have four new repos here uh, at the BotLabs Hugo organization. Let's take a quick look at this one, because it's a special one. If you click settings, and you can do this on other repos as well. And here you can select if you want to create a, 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 a GitHub page out of it. But when it have this special name that our have, have here, then it automatically does this for you. And you can see your site is published. It, it is already up here. So this URL is public and works now. So I can uh, navigate here and, and see this stuff here. And what this is, is actually the readme the readme file of the repository uh, by default here. And I don't want to get too much into to how this works, but it's it's in one way related to what we are doing, you know. But if I would add uh, more stuff to this readme file, maybe add uh, a smaller header here, uh, 
and a, a code block or something. Commit, commit this. Now you can see, of course, it updates the readme of, of, of the repo. And GitHub have this magical thing, you know, you, you write markdown documents, but uh, the readmes are, are uh, translated into HTML and published in, in, in this way, you know. And this is also what you see on this page here now. Uh, and, and and this is like a, a web page. This is, doesn't point to the GitHub repo. It points to a web page here. And if we view the source for this, it will give us some more clues about what's going on here. You can see this begin Jekyll SEO and stuff here. Uh, and what's going on here really is that uh, um, the markdown documents on 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 a GitHub. GitHub Pages repo is processed uh, with Jekyll, which is a, another uh, static site generator. It's quite similar to to Hugo actually. It's um, it, it's nothing nothing wrong with Jekyll really. I I I I've built one site with it uh, a long time ago now. It's maybe four or five years ago. Just when they launched this feature to GitHub. Um, and it's uh, written in Ruby. It's uh, slower than than Hugo, but but it uh, it works fine. And the the cool thing with Jekyll uh, and GitHub is that you don't need to build your site. You can just have uh, like we have here. You know, you don't need this public directory. You just need the the, the yeah the the. Jekyll project and upload it to, to GitHub and it will automatically process it for you and you can do of course more advanced things than just displaying the, the, the readme document and and yeah th th that's fine if, if you are 100% sure and that you will never move from from GitHub or just like Jekyll and stuff use that instead you know but and, and the reason I'm using Hugo uh, instead of Jekyll was just, I wanted to try another static, I, I wanted to try Hugo. I had built my Jekyll site and then I thought, okay, I want to try another one and see if there are any differences. And it wasn't that I didn't like Jekyll, it, it was more like uh, when I made the, the second Hugo site, I got really uh, familiar with how it worked and everything and everything fell to play so I just didn't feel like like switching back I didn't really have any reason for that except for this nice feature you know but uh, in, in another way it's not a big deal to just uh, compile the site and, and we can set up some script to automatically build and deploy it later so, so this is nothing to, to uh, consider and also I, I, I just think Hugo is, 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 is slightly better in, in, in most aspects and especially faster um, okay, that's a small sidetrack there, there, because what we need to do is, um, or let's set up the site locally now, uh, clone these repos and um, import the sub modules and stuff. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe you, you are, you have no idea what I'm doing now, and I don't blame you because I'm I'm very close to not having any idea what I'm doing myself, but I have some some idea here so bear with me so i will first now clone the source repo normally here uh, and now i am in the quick start directory here we want it in the www directory so Git clone this, but we name uh, the directory uh, Bud Labs Hugo here. So it's the same name as the website. Huh. Git clone. There. So now we have Bud Labs Hugo. It just contains this readme file, of course. 
Um, then we enter that uh, that uh, directory here, and now we add. Uh, or maybe we can do this. I haven't really tried this, but it should work, right? If I do Hugo new site and then just dot. Maybe this is a bad idea. Huh. Okay, Wh whatever. Whatever, ignore that. <laughs> I will edit that out. <laughs> um, yeah, but then we, we, we just add the sub-modules here. Uh, this, you know, the, the public site uh, this is the public, will be the public directory of our Hugo project here. So, I think I need to do this. Uh, so, git, and also, again, so we just clear here, we are in this directory on the command line here. Git submodule add and then this address no. this address uh, but we name it the directory public and we need to use yeah, I think you get it, the, the sub-modules, what they really are, you know, it's it's like repositories within another repository. So that's why you cannot just do a git clone, then you will, it gets, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, obvious that, that, that you will get issues when, when you try to add uh, stuff without sub-modules, sub I think. But there are drawbacks and, and it's a bit weird to work with sub-modules also, but whatever. Then we do the same for uh, the content and now I know the address, you know, it's, it's the same here, but instead of this we have content, name that content. And then the theme here. Uh, that will be something like uh, this one, like here it's called Ananke. Uh, so I thought this will be like what, what's inside the theme repo when, when we are done here. Uh, and that means that we want to do the same thing as we do here, a sub-module into the sub-directory themes slash and then the name of our theme, we shouldn't call it just theme here, but that's what it's called in, on, on the organization. We do theme into themes slash uh, and then we can name our theme something nice like bug labs Hugo theme BLHT. Why not? Yeah, there. Now it's. We have named it that. Now we should have a nice directory here with uh, three different repos uh, sub moduled into them. What we do now is we, we use Hugo to, to just create an empty. Uh, test project or something. We, we just do Hugo new site um, dummy and there it created this dummy project for us and, and then we just copy the rest of the directories that we don't have uh, um, have there you know so uh, and the config file of course just copy them into our botlabs Hugo repo here Then we navigate to that repository, botlabs hugo, we do a git add everything, 
then a git commit commit message init sugo or something and there we can see that it added uh, only th these directories we added now N well it actually create mode content god damn it if it didn't work right this time either now I did use a submodule command, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll see here when I push if it works. Git push. Yeah. So now, if we look at the source directory here on GitHub, we should see that we have uh, some more files. Uh, and we can see our sub modules here. So, so this is what that means if you find a GitHub repo or a Git repo and it looks something like this, then if I click content here now, you can see then it will navigate here to the content repository and not the content directory of, 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 of uh, the repo we were in. This can be really weird to if you have no experience at all with Git and it's like, oh man, do I have to know all of this stuff? And no, you don't. In one way, you don't have to do it like this at all, you know. But uh, I think the more we work on this, the more clear it will get why I have uh, uh, divided it in, like this. And we can also see the themes directory here is not a sub module, the sub module is inside that directory. Uh, it's not uh, that important right now and public points of course to the actual site so I think um, yeah we make a break there and what is this hmm. yeah, it's, I just have to say that I I have nothing uh, bad to say about uh, Microsoft's uh, way of managing GitHub. I was a bit worried like everyone else, but so far uh, nothing has gotten worse. It's like they they have added and improved a lot of stuff, uh, but not every, everything just to the better. There are of course things with GitHub that I would change and, and there are other alternatives to GitHub that are really interesting that I have considered, but I think it's fine. This is the... Uh, yeah, whatever. We, we, we keep on working on this um, in, in, in um, the upcoming videos. Because n next video, we will try to, to get like just building the site with our with, with our own theme and that theme will be like the most stupid theme ever just so we get a site to wor work with and then I don't know I haven't this is something I, I have just thought about in 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 my brain now uh, to see if we can do something like tagging tagging this repo uh, and use that for the different videos so 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 it will be easy here uh, so I don't need to keep like different directories or even different branches I think if, if this works fine to use different tags here instead it that will make this uh, uh, good but we see how that works with the sub uh, modules and everything okay a bit weird, a bit weird video, uh, weird uh, workflow here, and this is something I just came up with, kind of. I haven't even really tested it 100%. And if someone have uh, some uh, warning or or experience by using doing this and, and understand what I'm trying to do here, um, sure, please leave a comment if you have any uh, suggestions or input, you know, it's not too late to go back at this moment. And that's also a reason why I wanted to do this now, as, as quick as po possible, uh, because it's easy to, to change stuff now when everything is empty, it's, it's like, whatever. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video. And I also have to say, it's, it, this feels great to do this uh, web dev and creating this page it uh, I'm, I'm i'm actually quite excited 
about doing this and, and I have uh, lots of things that I want to try out uh, that I haven't yeah I think this will be great fun for for um, both me and hopefully for you too have a great day